<laughs> We're going to give him a hard time now. <laughs> What's your biggest takeaway from tonight's win? Um, that we moved the puck really well. I, I, I didn't like the last 10 minutes. We were, we were farting around with the puck, and it was uh, getting out of control. But uh, for the most part, we, we I was really surprised with our discipline, too. We didn't, I mean, there was maybe one penalty that the referee missed, but uh, uh, we, we played incredibly disciplined, so I was really happy with that. And, uh, and we used everybody. Uh, equally, so I, I gave the, the guys who are on the bubble, if you will, uh, I gave them an equal opportunity to showcase their skills. So we'll have to have a conversation, and it'll be a difficult decision. Um, you, you keep going. Just How go. do you see the chemistry grow in the past two days, specifically, especially in this game? How has it shown? Well, I really like the chemistry because uh, guys are encouraging one another. Uh, you can tell they're standing up for one another too, and uh, that, that's all you can ask for as a coach. That they, they, and they pay attention, and, and that's what I'm really happy. You know, I'm, I'm still, I'm still uh, learning to coach, and I, uh, I'm out. I'm a little rusty, so I stumble over my words sometimes. But these guys said they want to listen, and they pay attention when you talk. Um. Can you talk about just the, the mood, intensity on the bench? I mean, the guys were literally on their feet the entire game. Yeah, I don't know why they were doing that. Uh, I, mean, I was tired looking at them, but uh, uh, I guess that's just the way they are. It's a team that you can't help but like. Everybody on the team is a likable person. We don't have any, any, any egos or anything like that. So, uh, and especially in a game like this one when you can just roll all four lines and what we had, I guess we, we played uh, nine defensemen, so, uh, and everybody, everybody's playing, they, they don't care how much ice time they get, and uh, that's a real nice feeling. A uh, real difference between uh, puck possession and actual attack, what did you see there? Um, well, I, 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 liked, I liked how we played in the first period, but we weren't shooting the puck as much as I wanted. In the second period, it got a lot better. Um, guys have to have a selfish mentality. That's all I'm preaching. You know, it's uh, better to take a shot and uh, get a rebound than, than waste it uh, passing the puck and it doesn't result in a shot. So the first period, guys were feeling their, their way around and uh, they were trying things and they were trying to be unselfish. And I'd rather they be uh, a selfish team, uh, but, but we're not. And uh, I have to coax them to shoot the puck when they feel. Uh, it's a better play to try and pass it off to somebody, but I, I prefer them to shoot. In the second period, we dominated the, the game. Uh, I don't know if UMass had but three or four shots on goal, and they, they were net, none of the shots in the second period were dangerous. So, um, and most of our D, uh, I, I, they, they didn't give me an opportunity to, to yell at them for trying to be uh, a Bobby Orr out there uh, uh, making fancy moves and spin arounds and stuff like that. A few times it happened, but we talked to, we talked to some of the guys who did that and uh, they immediately corrected they didn't do it again. And so uh, as coaches, we were all happy with how we played. Um, speaking of spin around, it's uh, um, uh, Sonny's goal, the first one uh, on the back end. Yeah. Uh, was that uh, something you, uh, it surprised me you know, some of us up in the booth, is it something that surprised you or is it kind of just more of the same? You know, uh, Sonny had a great game. He had all kinds of opportunities and he missed a lot of shots, but uh, but but he but he got a, a lot of opportunities. That's what's most important is that you're getting those opportunities and uh, eventually they, they found their way in the net. But their, their goalie played really good. He made four or five unbelievable saves and um, we could have scored a lot more goals had we uh, been a little lucky around the net. We, we shot a lot of pucks. We were trying to pick corners and we, we uh, fired it off the glass. Uh, um, we, we've got to do a better job of that when we're playing uh, in the World Championships. We've got to hit the net more in our shots. We've got to have more net front presence too. What about that entire line? You know, Christian was really doing a great job uh, dishing the puck out and getting yeah, a good shot. Yeah, talk. that whole line was outstanding uh, and Whitey had a number of chances. He could have scored three or four goals and 
I'm just glad that those guys had the chances. It's it's frustrating to play. You're just skating around. You don't have any any chances, but all of those guys had good chances, and they were rewarded a couple times. You mentioned uh, a better net front presence. It's one of those things where you, you don't know if you want to give credit to UMass's defense for keeping them outside the docks and, yeah. and above the hash marks, or if it was just a lack of attack on you, on the USA's part. Yeah, it, it was mostly it was mostly our fault. We had guys standing in front of the net, and uh, the guys supposed to be there and, and screen the goalie, and then they step out of the way at the last second and give the goalie an opportunity to see the puck so the, the, the shot stopped. Um, and in the second period and, and the third period when we were on the power play, we had much better net front presence. You mentioned this morning that there were some players that you really wanted to see go out and take control tonight. Without naming names, did those players step up for you? Uh, generally, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, we, 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 again, it's, it's hard for me to comment right after the game, but we have to have some uh, some good discussions in the next uh, 10 minutes or so to decide what we're going to do with our team. How did you feel about the goalies for the U.S. in the goal? Quite great. Um, you know, uh, Ned had more work early, uh, and he, he played great. I, I was really impressed, and uh, uh, and, and he, he moved the puck pretty good, too, and uh, uh, Brendan Halverson uh, did an especially good job at moving the puck. He was yeah. cool and calm out there all the time. I was a little nervous, you know, when you, when you have a shutout and you got to, and you, your plans to change goalies. And that's a lot of pressure on the guy going in. And, but fortunately, uh, we played well in front of him for that period, so he was able to get warm for the third. So uh, I, I, I couldn't tell you if one played better than the other, but both were impressive. Uh, you mentioned about the goalies, or excuse me, about the defensemen and, and rotating out. There were no regular pairs uh, no. with nine players. Hard to do that, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was that by design because you wanted to see different pairings, different matchups? Because I yeah, know well, this is Well, to be honest with you, uh, Wierenski wasn't supposed to play as much as he did, but uh, to make it fair, Chelly played him as much as anybody else, so he looked particularly good. And uh, um, all, all of our defensemen played well, so I, I can't complain about anything. How, how does this game make the next decision that much harder? Well, it, it does, it does, but, uh, I mean, we, we have to make the decisions. We, we could do the easy thing, procrastinate and, and, and uh, bungle up practice in, in Europe, but we've got to make a couple of cuts. And I'm sorry to say, I, I don't know who it's going to be, but uh, that's I, I told the team before the game, we, we're not playing our best line. Uh, you guys, we we're going to have to cut two or three of you. You have to give your best. I expect everybody to give their best to help the guys who are – Let's say on the bubble, and you shouldn't you shouldn't view it as any extra pressure put on you by the coach. It's just the reality of the situation. Okay. That's it. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Thanks coach. Well, calm. So, do you guys like playing together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we we got a lot of chemistry right now, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah, with Ace Adams, uh, we played pretty well today, so. When you look at the chemistry of your line, what is it about you know your particular strengths and weaknesses? You can all talk about each other. How's that? Um, I'll start. Uh, Christian's a really smart player, a really good passer, good two-way player. So uh, me and Wendy, um, more speed, uh, kind of one way, just kind of crash in and pass back to each other and make plays off that. And uh, I don't know, I think all three of us kind of complement the way we play, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, we have a lot of talk on the bench. We're supporting each other all the time. Uh, Devo's a really smart player, so he creates a lot of space for both of us. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, they're just great, great players, and uh, Sonny obviously has a lot, of, a lot of skill, so he opens up space for us. And uh, Whitey does the same thing, too. He plays in our game and uh, plays two ways. And uh, yeah, I think we complement each other pretty well. You guys had 13 shots total on the line, and I know it can be frustrating when those goals so close don't go in. How did you guys stay motivated and help each other to stay motivated? <laughs> Come on, yeah, uh, <laughs> wish I could have a couple back there today, but uh, you know what happens. Uh, you know, I just gotta thank the next shift uh, every time, and uh, I think we were real supportive of each other when we miss our chances. So I think it helped out a lot. Yeah, I think we knew we were bound to score. We had a lot of chances out there, and uh, it was bound to go in the back of the net. And luckily, it started to do that later in the game. What did Coach say to you guys after that second period? It was definitely a little disheartening after. 
the first, you know, you need to get that offensive struggles out of line. So tell me what you said to you guys. Um, nothing really. I think, I think we were kind of just going to the power play. We started off the power play that period, so we kind of just focused on that. Uh, I don't think we were really too worried. I think we were playing fine. So I think we were just kind of worried about the power play coming up and uh, we didn't score. But I think that, that's pretty much all we really talked about in two periods. What did Cole have to say about the power play tonight? Uh, he didn't say anything, uh, but we could have got, we, we had a lot of chances. Uh, I think we had a good power play. We didn't bury any of goals, but he didn't say anything. I think I think he'll come. Coach was pretty impressed at, at how uh, disciplined you guys were. Obviously, a big point of emphasis since Lake Placid. Um, do you guys take any pride as a team in that fact? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, it's a big thing. We're staying out of the box. We get more time, even on ice. We get power plays out of it too, so uh, you know, I think it's, it's a good thing to be disciplined. Yeah, and we don't we don't want to be on the kill over that be five on five or power play, so uh, it's huge to be disciplined, and uh, we did that tonight. You guys all became really close really quick as a team. The chemistry has we've seen it on the ice all week. How hard is this first round of cuts going to be for the team, and how are you guys going to keep the morale high going into Finland? Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, part of the process. I think everyone knows it's coming. So uh, whoever gets cut, obviously they're great players. Just being invited to this camp, it's obviously a huge accomplishment. But um, yeah, it's tough, obviously, whoever it is. And uh, obviously, be sad. I mean, all everyone's friends here, but you know, we're just gonna keep going, and we have a we have a big goal ahead of us. So like, we're not gonna we're not gonna hold our heads too high. I mean, too low, you know. So. <laughs> Good work. Can you guys? Sorry, can you guys talk just about the, the defense and, and how, you know, they helped in the offensive game? Yeah, I think uh, they moved pucks out real quick tonight. Uh, you know, that allowed us to transition quick. Uh, so I think that helped us a lot right away. Yeah, they are grand transitioning in pucks off to us and also jumping into the play, so that's huge, and uh, hopefully they keep doing that. Coach talked about you guys being selfish with the puck. In other words, if you've got a shot, take it. That seemed to be something that you guys struggled with a little bit tonight. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We're just kind of looking for each other. Uh, all new. It's our first time really playing with each other, so I guess trying to just get some chemistry. But yeah, in the tournament, we're going to have to maybe look off some passes and uh, just take the shot. Uh, maybe go for a rebound to, if you want to get it to a guy or something. But uh, you can't be too fancy. Uh, not going to get a lot of chances in the tournament, so we got to we got to bury when we get those chances. Coach Wilson doesn't really believe in battle drills during practice. He wants you to battle during the games. Um, it seemed like there were some battles, especially along the boards, but in terms of getting you know, below the dots and inside the hash marks, there really wasn't much there. Is that something that you guys plan to uh, amp up? Uh, yeah, I guess so, obviously. Uh, as the games go on further into the, into the month here, uh, it gets more important, so I think we'll be a little, a little more. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I think we might maybe start doing that practice. Thanks, guys.